Uh, I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network and I'm here today at DevOx UK talking to um, Regina Ted Bogenkate and Linda van der Poel. Hi. 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 Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. So you are both members of the Duchess and so what is new with the Duchess? Uh, we're working on our new website. The old site is uh, falling down, it's not working correctly. So we're building a new site in, uh, in Java, as we are a Java user group. And it's an initiative in the Netherlands, but we're also getting the other Java uh, Dutches involved with it. So it's a community website? I mean, for. Yeah, it's a community it's website. Uh, Dutches is global, as you yep. know, and we wanted to get it all in one location so people from all over the world can search for their local Dutchess chapter. With, with chats and um, so what, what will be on the website? Really? Uh, first there will be uh, blogs and blogs. references. Some Dutchess sites have their own website mm -hmm. so they, then you can make a port to that website. And there will be blogs, uh, forums maybe as well and uh, later on there will be some videos like this interview and uh, how to become a speaker and things like that. So Linda, you, we, you had um, a session last night so tell us a little bit about the session. Yeah, we had a Duchess buff yesterday to meet all the local girls here and actually not many of them showed up despite this being the highest percentage of women on a conference I've ever seen. There must have been at least 10% women out here. Okay. So I guess they don't really feel there is a problem or they had to be home or something like that. Yeah, I think being a competition to small, cute robots yes, didn't Yes, the either. now, <laughs> that, was, that was a shame. <laughs> yep. But yeah, it was a nice session. We talked a bit about um, joining your community, uh, becoming a speaker, being more visible at uh, events like this. So it was a nice discussion. So, any of the recommendations that uh, you thought were good? Um, well, one of the things you can do, because most women don't feel very comfortable speaking and are very, um, well, nervous about it. So, we advise them to start at your local jug and um, uh, do quickies. Mm -hmm. For example, this, during this lunch I'll have a quickie of my own. Uh, simply, be, uh, I found a library that nobody I knew had heard of. So I thought, well, let's introduce the people here. Probably a lot of other people haven't heard of it either. So that's a nice way to get started. Yeah, and one of the points we also mention, was mentioned is that a lot of women are like, oh, I will be the only girl here. That was mentioned the, uh, at yeah. our talk as well. So the French girls, they do a dinner before their local jug. And they said, oh, maybe we should introduce something similar here in the UK, so more women will come to uh, conferences here. Right, to the jugs. Although there's a lot of women here. So uh, you also involve, you have other initiatives, uh, so, and I know you're involved uh, with um, DevOps for Kids. So what is your plan there? Yes, uh, we want, we're planning to organize DevOps for Kids. That's the big DevOps, but then for kids 10 till 14 years old uh, in the Netherlands. And we're in the stage that we're looking for a location and a date to organize it. And we're getting great input from uh, people here that have done it already yes. or are organizing uh, events for kids already. For instance, the Green Food. A good talk. Yeah, we and got lots of good advice from Michael Cullen yesterday. Yeah. And, and that's uh, in our planning station, so we want to do it somewhere before the summer holidays. I see. <laughs> so Linda, you are also uh, doing other things with, uh, with schools. Tell us about yes, what you do. Yes, I've uh, recently become a role model for a Dutch network of women in technology. And um, they have several initiatives. Uh, some of them go to high schools to teach lessons in whatever technology you're working with. And they also have speed dating, where you have a group of like seven girls around the table and about ten minutes to talk about your profession. And they also have a program to go to primary schools to tell a little bit about uh, working in technology. And, um, well, that's what I'm doing. So I basically uh, written a little piece of information about my daily work. 
and send it into the schools and then the kids read it and discuss it and come up with questions that they have for me. So then when I come in, they, uh, I gather all the questions, put them in some more logical order. So I start with school and then I start with career and then all the other stuff around it. And all that usually takes about half an hour and then I play a little game with them because I found this robot dictionary online which is all kinds of little symbols that uh, is like a programming language where you can say, well, put your right foot forward or your right foot back or turn, pick up stuff, put it down. And then I have them make a little program with it and then I execute it. I'm the robot and they love that. I mean, well, they're about 10, 11 years old and they get to run around the school class again. <laughs> So then after about an hour, we're done, and I leave the yelling kids with their teacher, and I say bye. <laughs> <laughs> Having given them goodies. Yes, yes, I also <laughs> always give them goodies, like s the stickers I collect here, or uh, pens, or sometimes even some candy. And because, well, goodies are an integral part of being a developer. Every conference has goodies, so how can I not bring them? <laughs> what are some of the questions that they ask you? Oh, they're very diverse. What kind of education do you need? Isn't it just for men? Um, do you like it? Um, what's the, the best app you've ever written? Uh, what's the worst mistake you've ever made? Um, can, how old do you need to be before you start? At which I always tell them, well, you can start right now. There is Scratch and <laughs> you can build your own games. And they're all like, oh, that's so cool. And well, if, I had, if they hadn't had school yet, they would have rushed home to install it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all like to build their own games. Yes. So that's pretty much what you're going to do also with the DevOx for Kids, right? Oh yes, I mean so the DevOps for Kids, we're going to do uh, a scratch workshop at least and... Uh, Probably some Alice Greenfoot... Uh, uh, programming a Mars rover. Right, like with the Lego, Lego Mindstorms. And uh, yeah, we're looking in, uh, in what all kinds of things you can do. And uh, Arun has now the Minecraft workshop. Right. Yeah, we're definitely going to look into that. Yeah, we're going to look and see if we can squeeze it a bit shorter because it, for his it's the whole day almost. Right. So that's so uh, then we want to do several workshops in s like school classes so they can go from have a workshop for like maybe one or two hours and then go to another workshop have some lunch and then another workshop and also we want to invite companies to come out there and have a little stand like we have here with the with some stickers and some information and I see. So it's going to be um, way bigger than just a little workshop. Yes. We, we really want a small DevOx just for kids. Ah, okay. That's the dream. We'll just have to see how much we can realize. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for coming to talk to us. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us.